everybody. Thanks for joining my channel. And today what we're going to do is review ZenBev product. I know many of you have been waiting for this review and I'm sorry for the long wait but before trying out a product till its end there's the reviewing behind it and knowing the science behind it, understanding ingredients, the nutritional factors, everything about it. And especially this time, it wasn't just for me, you know, testing out on somebody who has one or two nights a week that, you know, my brain races too much and I wake up and I can't go to sleep. But I wanted to test it out on my mother, which is 80 and over, and which is being diagnosed as chronic insomnia, and which has been on medication for quite a while, and it's starting to affect her memory. And we see this in long term, and I want to get her away from it. I thought there was nothing else to go forward with but a part going for melatonin till I've seen this product and I was amazed uh, to see the ingredients in it. So without any ado, let's take a review of the product, let's take it apart, let's um, you know really go dig into it okay and know the flow of what it's trying to accomplish. So stick around this is going to be really good. It took me a lot of time to put this together. The owner is Craig Hudson, medical doctor and psychiatrist, with his wife, Susan Hudson. Uh, they both own the company and um, been very helpful in answering all my questions. So let's take a look at the ingredients. When I saw this, I saw organic pumpkin seed flour. What do they want out of that pumpkin seed for it to help me to go to sleep? Well, Organic, which is already a good thing, it's already promising for the product that they take care of that. They get their pumpkin seeds from Europe and your USA. And they use the pumpkin seeds because of the high amount of tryptophan that's inside. Remember my protein videos, tryptophan is one of the essential amino acids that's being torn apart. It's an essential, you need that every day. Here, let me put on the the chart for you. Remember this chart that I used in my protein video? On your left, number eight, tryptophan. It's an essential. You need it from your food every day. You have to eat it. So how did they get enough tryptophan in there? I asked the question, how do you extract enough tryptophan for it to be enough for your brain or what you're trying to accomplish? Another great feedback is they de-oil the, the, the pumpkin seeds by using cold press. Remember my oil video? If you want to go somewhere by extracting without killing all the minerals and vitamins around it, cold press is the best way to go. So yeah, um, that's item number one or ingredient number one. The other one, going through it really quickly and I'll get more in detail about that later, is one tablespoon of dextrose. Okay, I know what dextrose is. I did the sugar videos on that. So I extracted one of my old chart. Here it is. Dextrose. Glycemic index is at 100. So it spikes your glycemic index all the way to 100. Why would they want to do that? Interesting. I will get that. I will explain that to you in a minute. Next thing is natural flavors. And I know, guys, uh, natural flavors. I've talked so much about it. I didn't do a video complete on it. But I wanted to get there and I said if you don't trust the company natural flavors just make sure it's at the bottom of the list so there's less of it as possible because there's nothing natural about natural flavors since you could have over a hundred chemical reaction uh, chemical products in natural flavors but in this case these guys go to a company in Canada in Toronto which uh, you know composes just lemon and chocolate for them out of the natural products as much as possible so hey you got my approval for that which is great the other one is rice starch um, why would they need those carbohydrates which spikes insulin well they need the insulin and vitamin b3 in the rice which is extracted from the carbohydrates um, okay we'll get into that in a minute then the last ingredients Gur gum, which is a natural thickener used in almost every food, which is kind of a powder. It's basically a long change of, uh, you know, 
bond carbohydrate uh, molecules, which basically compose of two sugars. What does it really do? If you remember when you poured on in the past some protein powder or anything that you want to mix up and it doesn't seem to mix up properly and you're taking your teaspoon taking it apart trying to you know dissolve it into your water because it doesn't bond with your water or with whatever you're trying to make it bond with well basically it just stops to it, it helps that, that process so you don't get all that residue around your cup but the percentage is so low, it's like 0.2%. So we're talking about 0.2 grams of gum. So it's natural thickener. So basically, this is how it looks. You know, that's what I was able to get. Pumpkin seeds, you know, the, the oil. I wasn't able to just to give you an example. The sugar and the rice. And what I wasn't able to get is the gum or the natural flavors. So basically, this is how it would look like with, you know, the gum. Okay, so let's take a look at the nutritional facts in this. Okay, let's put this on the screen for you. And we've run through the ingredients. Let's take a look at nutritional facts. Uh, saturated, trans fats, cholesterol, is all zero. Sodium, nothing to talk about. Total carbohydrates, five grams, nothing to talk about there too. Dietary fiber, 2%. And there goes your teaspoon, four grams of sugar. Protein uh three grams yeah it's it's a bit high it's normal because you know in the plant protein if we take a look at that too pumpkin seed is one of the highest in there not a complete protein but still very high in the plant protein which is good everything's good so far uh basically comes uh in a, in a jar um i think it's a great alternative to melatonin but you take half an hour before bed, it might take a week to find the proper dosage for your body, you know, for your your whole body, mind, brain to produce its own melatonin and, you know, get, get it adjusted properly. And it, you know, the jar will last you about a month, but you also have um, chocolate and lemon flavor and you have bags which will, you know, uh, last you about three months. My mom was more excited when she got it to, about the things that for the eyes. I go, mom, we're talking about the product here. She goes, oh, I've been looking for that for a long time. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at the claims. Falling asleep, good. Staying asleep, that is extremely good because most of us sometimes wake up and cannot fall asleep again. Here's a good one. Improves social day anxiety. Anxiety, yeah, anxiety. Can they really say that? Yeah, they could, because there was a pilot study which was published about it. So it does calm down your anxiety, which is like, great, here's the paper. Um, I'll, I'll put, like I said, I put all the links below so you guys could refer to them. I'll have every link since the beginning of all my uh, sleep videos in there. So you guys could review them if you want. Uh, alleviates your stress. Well, alleviating your stress will give you a better mood, which is our part of that. So all of that said, let's review in a flowchart type of way how this works and how this is all performed. Okay. So after reviewing 25, 30 university studies, pilot studies, uh, case studies, you name it. Um, I thought of using maybe this as a whiteboard because it was already done, but I go, my God, this is way too complicated. And if you guys know me well, well, this is not something I would go for. Uh, I would make it much simpler. So I did, here it is. All right, let's take a look at the ingredients here. With the pumpkin seeds, you get the tryptophan, amino acid from the protein you get from these seeds. Then you got one teaspoon of sugar dextrose at 100% glycemic index. Effect that your brain requires to do and convert or do what it needs. Then you got the rice starch carbs, which give you the insulin and the vitamin B3 that you require. All this in one full tablespoon of about 10 grams. Uh, you know what? What I'm interested in is what is the flow of all this food? to go into your brain and do the effects and the requirements that it needs 
to go through and provide you sleep. Well, I created this flow chart for you. And hopefully it's gonna be easier to understand this way. So what we're trying to do is get the tryptophan through the blood-brain barrier. But unfortunately, the tryptophan gets bounced back by your blood-brain barrier because blood-brain barrier stops a lot of heavy particles and metals and a lot of other things and it uh, refuses a lot, a lot of minerals and that. It protects the brain. But sometimes there are situations like this that happen. And not only that, the tryptophan competes a lot with these large amino acids. And uh, well, let me put a chart here just show you here you go large amino acids um, you know like valine leucine and you know all those that have a check mark those are in bigger quantity larger amino acids lnaa and these guys compete with the tryptophan to try to make it through the blood brain barrier so how do we how do we succeed to make our tryptophan go through well to stop it, uh, to start, uh, first of all, to stop the tryptophan from being converted to uh, nicotinic acid, okay, we got the B3. The B3 is going to help suppress that, that conversion. But it still doesn't help to say, how do we get the tryptophan from not competing against these guys because they're way in bigger amount than this guy's in a smaller amount. Well, this is when the insulin comes in. The insulin will uh, kind of reduce the serum levels of these guys, okay, uh, of your large amino acid. But you know what? The insulin doesn't affect the tryptophan, and the tryptophan just keeps on racing right through the finish line, across the blood-brain barrier, and makes it through because of the insulin, and it's not being converted at the same time. Isn't that great? Okay, so what's the next step? Well, the next step, once it crosses over to your blood-brain barrier into your brain, the brain converts it into 5-HTP. And I know you guys probably seen 5-HTP, 5-hydroxy tryptophan in, you know, stores or drugstores or what. Uh, yeah, a lot of physicians may use it uh, to... Uh, give uh, to their patients uh, to stop from anxiety, to reduce anxiety. Long term, under 300 milligrams, um, but unfortunately, you know, under 300 milligrams, it increases your dopamine and helps you with your anxiety. But what happens is the dose, after a while, there's a tolerance to it and it keeps going up and some physicians may even go up to uh, 1,200 milligrams. Can't maintain that more than three weeks anyways, by the way. And the uh, counter effect is um, you got um, dopamine and your triazine may just uh, it starts reducing instead of increasing so not a good thing but again it's a drug guys you know it's a, you call it a drug or a supplement call it what you want but um, it does have some effects if you go uh, if you exceed the, the use on them what does 5-HTP do well it will reduce your anxiety depression, headaches, obesity, insomnia, and fibromyalgia. Oh, uh, there's, an, uh, there's a spell O there. It's not an I, but it's an L in front of the G. Uh, the one I was surprised off was obesity, but anyways, we're not here to uh, talk about uh, weight, uh, you know, weight loss, but I'll, I'll, I'll highlight that in a little bit later. So what's the next step after 5-HTP? Well, before the next step is required to convert to the next uh, product, which is serotonin. B6 and B12 is required, and magnesium. We know that magnesium has at least, I'd say, 300 biochemical reactions in your body. This magnesium that I could think of among all the magnesiums out there is by glycinate. By glycinate, uh, or like glycinate without the bi, it's just a double bond. Um, it the best effect I would say is like taking a hot shower and uh, drying off and going to bed and having that cooling effect. So that type of magnesium is probably the best one to take along with it at night. 
And once you're into uh, the transfer of serotonin during the daytime, what kind of effect can you uh, wait for that you'll get from serotonin? Well, serotonin has a calming effect on your mind, as it gives you a better mood. And uh, cognition, uh, cognitive health is increased, which is, you know corresponds with mood and you know calming your mind. But here's your, uh, we'll call it hunger effect. <laughs> you know, we had that big meal and you're still hungry, but you know you have to stop because you're going to gain weight. Well, imagine just eating a proper meal and you're full. You don't have that hunger anymore, or at least you have less. That's what serotonin does. What happens after that step of serotonin? What's the next step? Well, when there's uh, no more light or at night, uh, serotonin, if there's enough of it, will help create melatonin through your pineal gland. And what is required for that is darkness. Darkness is the important step in that. When your eyes, your ganglion cells in your eyes, as they don't see the day of light anymore, and it's darkness, they tell your brain, well, actually your pineal gland, you use serotonin to start creating the melatonin to get prepared for night sleep. I see melatonin and 5-HTP being used. You call it drugs, you call it supplement, call it what you want, but in this case, you open sometimes any drugs that are out there, and I've seen too many times 10 milligrams. You know, it's basically your brain needs about 0.3 milligrams of melatonin to uh, go the full seven and a half hours to eight hours of sleep and you're feeding it 10 milligrams like you've seen the exaggeration sometimes done over here in 5-HTP the same things so what happens when you decide to reduce or get away from these um, drugs or supplements what do you think your brain's going to do? It's going to say, well, you were feeding me. I didn't need to, you know, provide you any melatonin since you're providing it for me. You mean you're going to have to start working again and doing? That's why you get these delays of a few weeks and sometimes months for your brain to start creating its own melatonin for your body. Wouldn't you want a better solution of just eating just normal food and having it go through your brain barrier by the proper science and proper ratio of vitamins and insulin and let your brain do its own work what it's supposed to do and convert everything that it needs or requires by its own I'm just bringing up another solution for you well is there any warnings or restriction on this product yeah, like anything else, um, if you have lupus, you may want to be careful or think of it because some people with lupus, I'm not going to go into the science nerd of it, but it may have the opposite effect on you. If you're uh, below 16, that has not been tested on kids, or you're pregnant, if you're pregnant, if you take anything, you should ask your doctor. If you're taking antidepressant, yeah, you may want very to verify with your doctor, check out with your doctor if this doesn't go against the prescription or what he has prescribed you and if you're a diabetic because of the sugar inside that one teaspoon just make sure that you ask your doctor I don't think there's going to be any issues but your doctor is going to be best to answer uh, on that and uh, you know if you look at it this way the way I look at it natural food to help you sleep instead of drugs and for the price of a coffee but the opposite effect it will help you pass a good night's sleep what do you want more? The even guaranteed, money back guarantee if this doesn't work. It's great. And you know what? I managed to get a link and a discount from them. You'll see it below. I am going to put it in the notes below. And uh, if you like what you saw, people, please share it to help somebody else out there. And if you want to see more, subscribe and hit that bell button uh, to be notified next time I post another video. And with all that, Guys, instead of having a good day, have a good night's sleep.